Isn't it good that you can take one hour out of your week? See it one more time. Somebody gonna say yeah in a minute. Yeah. All right. Somebody gonna say. Somebody say. What's well, about to hurt? Did I hear somebody say yeah? Yeah. All right. All right. Yeah. I just wondered if we gonna stay right there, but to be. My goodness. I think I'm talking. I ain't talking to myself, am I? Isn't it good that you can have a moment where you and your friends, you and your children, you and your associates, your business partners, can just stop everything and say, we're going to get together and say, come on out of that corner. We're going to get together and we're going to say, if it had not been for the Lord on my side, where would I be? See, I, I can just say that one more time. If you could just sit down sometime, even when you can't make it over here, I just want you to just take out time, shut everything off in the house, even cut the air off in the house. It ain't doing us much good today either. Just shut it off. Shut off everything. TV. Go, go to the breaker box and just... Just, 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 just cut it all off. Make sure ain't nothing on. Just go to the breaker box. Fine. This is what I do. This y'all want to know how I get myself back, get myself up, and get myself ready to take on what I don't know gonna happen tomorrow, and what I'm sure gonna happen because God said it's gonna happen, huh? I just go to the breaker box in the house. Just cut everything off. Now everything is off. The deep freeze, the refrigerator, everything that's off in the house. Just take a time and just do it. Let the Lord see the action that will ignite the supernatural. It takes action upon you for you to ignite the supernatural. The supernatural is already happening every day. Huh? But see, it take, if you want that to happen in your life, you got to do something now. Go to the breaker box, somebody, and just cut it all off. And just stand there and say, if it had not been for the Lord on my side, where would I be? All those traffic lights I got through, where I ran the stop sign, just wasn't even looking. I ran the stop sign, the, 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 the traffic light, they wouldn't even, just wasn't looking. My mind was just blank. If it had not been for the Lord on my side, that truck could have just, boom. God said, I ain't through yet, Mr. Michael. Truck ain't got nothing on you. Huh? If it had not been in Honduras, South America, when TLC Lisa Left Eye, we was in that truck and we turned over. Huh? Death came right by me. She's in the front seat. I'm in this seat. Death came right by me, passed me by. Took her. If it had not been. For the supernatural being invoked it through those prayers of cutting off the breaker box. Huh? Oh, you can try. See, you got to exercise. You know, everything needs a little exercise. Huh? How do you exercise your faith? No, not by testing your faith. Don't go get no snakes, y'all. That man died and putting them snakes up there. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Huh? I ain't talking about that now. You need to know what I'm talking about. I ain't asking you to go out here and stand in front of Moreland Avenue with dollars pinned all over you, huh? And think ain't nobody going to grab one. Or ride right there in front of them trucks. Don't do it, huh? But you can cut off the breaker box and let the Lord know, I just want everything to be off right now because I want to put you on. 
You are my source of power. You are my power. Lord, I'm going to tell you something. It's just like when you call your mother. You try it. Try one exercise and see won't God give you the victory. See won't tears start running down your eyes. If you do it the right spirit. You ain't got to get on your knee and go, gee, I, gee, I, gee, I, hold it. Oh, my Lord, they woke me out. I said, wait a minute. Did you, I got to call him that many times. Did he forget his name the last time I called him? And then my dad said, well, you got to go back and get the victory. I said, well, what happened? Did the Holy Ghost run out yesterday? Huh? But sometimes it just take you, take it out time. Stopping everything in your life. It ain't going the way you wanted to go anyway. Make it everybody sit down in the house. I used to wonder when my father would sit down and make it. My father was a Bishop Abraham Harris for you all. Though. They don't know I'm just, I'm not just talking about a man. I'm talking about a pastor or a bishop. He would just make everybody sit down in the house. Everybody. Thank you. Everybody. Sit down. Be still. Oh, we didn't like it because some of us was looking at football. My brother Stanley was up here. <laughs> Auburn was running a touchdown on Alabama. And he was for Alabama. Cut the TV off. Cut everything. Oh no, he didn't wanna, he didn't wanna do that. It's on the five yard line. Roll Tide is getting ready to get a touchdown. Poop. Come on up here and pray. Oh, I remember so vividly how he decided he just wasn't going to do it right that day. <laughs> he wasn't going to leave that TV. Huh? See, sometimes, just like other, didn't want to obey. He did not want to obey when David had decided that he was going to put the ark. He was going to go get the ark. Now, if y'all don't know what the ark is, the ark of the covenant, which is where they broke up all the tablets that was the, the Ten Commandments. It's true. You know, I mean, you've seen Raiders of the Lost Ark. Well, it's true. It's not just a movie. Huh? This thing was so supernatural. It was so supernatural. Why? Because the supernatural had touched it. God had rode it on the mountain with his own hands. So, for, so much until the box that they put it in became holy and powerful and had supernatural powers. So God gave David specific instructions of how to move this thing. And one of the things was in there was totally profound. Don't you touch it with your bare hands. Don't you touch it with your bare hands. It's got to be carried a certain way. It wasn't so much God was being so mean or mad. No. He just wants you to obey when the supernatural is allowed to perform in your life. Somebody say amen. amen. See, Jesus had to be born of the supernatural. That was a supernatural occurrence. You know, come on now. Come on. Now you know good and well if your lady get pregnant and you didn't do nothing. Now, I ain't talking about you. You know what I'm saying. Huh? You ain't did nothing. And all of a sudden, that she is pregnant. So Joseph had to take out time and try to have, make a decision. He only had a couple choices in his mind. I'm either going to put her away quietly, exile her, or we're going to have her stone. Ain't no keeping her now. Because she's surely been doing something with somebody. Huh? Why did he wait right before they go to get married? 
Why did God wait right before they went to get married? Huh? Y'all thought they were married. Oh, Lord. No, no, man. If you're ready. Huh? Hello? Why do you think? Because when you get married, you got you to go and do what you got to do. They know that, in them days, there wasn't no, wasn't no well, we're going to wait the next week because we just going to, I want to let you know how much I really you mean to me. Uh-uh. You got to go in and do your thing, now you're married. That's the way it worked. So he couldn't let him get married. So the angel came down and did the supernatural. Somebody say supernatural. Yeah. Oh, we're going to invoke the supernatural today. I ain't playing with you. Hmm? But he had to get to Joseph. He said, now listen. Now, let, 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 let me read it for you. Matthews 1 and 20. I think it is. Let me go back in here. Matthew 1 and 20. I just want you to see what that angel came down and said to him. That's what I want you to do. What did that angel come down and say to him? Joseph, her husband, being a just man and not willing to make her a public example was minded to put her away privately. But while he thought of these things, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a dream, saying, Joseph, thou son of David, fear not to take unto thee Mary, thy wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Ghost. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to be wide awake when an angel come to me. I'm sorry. Are you going, I'm going to have to be wide awake and have my coffee and my zeal if God will come to me and tell me anything about my lady being pregnant with his baby. You see, sometimes we read these stories and we don't understand that we... This was a supernatural occurrence. We get so caught up into what God do on a regular basis. Huh? Until we forget when Trey was born, that was a supernatural occurrence. That was a supernatural occurrence when Mayan was born. And if you want to doubt me, look in the mirror. It was a supernatural occurrence when you were born. Supernatural, man. Ain't nobody making you but go. And I'm trying to figure out what they believe in. When somebody say, I don't believe in God. How can you open your mouth like that? You know you didn't do that. You know good will you didn't hang that son out there. I'm going to tell you something else. You ain't got to pay for it. No light bill. He ain't going to cut it off. Well, on the 15th, now you know we ain't getting no more sun. You ain't been acting right. I saw you coming out of the club and, you know, uh-huh. Yeah, I know. I saw you told, you told that lie. We're going to cut your son off. Huh? He just do the supernatural for you every day. It's a common thing for God to do the supernatural. Somebody say supernatural. supernatural. See, I got to get you where I'm at. I got to get you to appreciating what God has already done while you sitting up and got your request in. Put your list up right now. Put it up. Come on. Put it up. Put your list up. You know you got a list. Put your wish list down. Boy, I wish I had a car like that. Boy, I wish I had a girl like that. Boy, I wish I had a man. Boy, I wish. Oh, wish, 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 wish. I just want. To get a thousand dollars tomorrow, I sure do. <laughs> huh? If I could just get me two G's, I could. Huh? Oh, don't give me ten thousand dollars. Everybody here, all y'all headaches be gone. Huh? What? Can I just get me an EBT card with a thousand dollars on it? I know what your wish lists are. 
Huh? But put them down for a second, just for a minute. And think about the supernatural things that God do on a regular basis for you. Now, anything that, if I can show y'all a way to invoke him to do something else, supernatural for you, you should be really listening. You don't need to be worried about no bills right now. You don't need to be worried about no nothing. What the doctor told you a couple of weeks ago, nothing. You need to be really listening because I got something for you here now. You can invoke the supernatural movement of God himself to move just like when Moses stretched out his rod over the Red Sea when everybody else went down oh you know what I'm going to tell you something boy you know how you don't never want to be responsible for something <laughs> you know why you don't want to be responsible for it you know why right because if anything go wrong <laughs> I tell you what you get in my truck and you go around there and you, you hit something I don't care what your story is. I am definitely not going to like you. I wouldn't care if they hit you. I don't care if they hit you in the parking lot while you was in the store. But when you brought it back to me, it's got a bit in it. I'm telling you the truth. I'm not going to like you. Absolutely not. It would be a good idea for you to just leave. It would really be. Because the more you explain, I'm going to get more angrier. Why are you parking right there? You didn't see the other car coming? Like nobody can have accidents in your stuff. <laughs> Come on now. I got to stay here. I'm about done. Make it, ain't, that, ain't that good? Check it out now. When that people saw them chariots, all them chariots, I'm going to tell you that, I'm going to tell you something, when you hear a horse, y'all ever seen a her, one horse run? That's loud. But can you imagine a thousand, two thousand horses with chariots and knives on the end of them coming at you? Oh, Moses, now I'm trying to tell you right now, I don't know why you brought us out here to die, man. Come on now, look, look, hey, look, look. All the miracles he done done, ain't nobody done seen nothing but them chairs and hit them chairs. Their heart was just beating. Moses, now listen, you done brought us way out here and now it's Moses' fault. They don't forget all about what God did and all the miracles and everything. See, when, when you got trouble in your life, you just forget about all the supernatural things that God do every day for you. Your eyeball, one of your eyeballs, just one. Just one of them. You don't even know why you got the hairs in your nose. Keep the dust from going all down your lung, kind of like a filtering system. Huh? Come on now. We got, three, we got five more minutes. I want to keep your attention for five minutes. Think about it for a second now. The supernatural things he do every day. Every day. It's so complex. As smart as Steve Jobs was, and he was a smart man. He can't make you. He can't. He can't make what the front part of your brain can do. He can't. They can't, they can't do it. No wonder they say we only use 20% of our 10%, 20%. I don't know who's measuring. I think I'm using all my brain most of the time. I know, I'm, I know if I find any of it in there not working, I'm sure going to wake it up. Huh? I don't believe nothing except what God tells me. And God tells me, you can invoke the supernatural in your life. You don't have to wait. And you please, please stop wishing. He's not Santa Claus. He's not Santa Claus. Well, if I did good, Lord, it looked like you just ought to, look like you ought to just give me a new car. I do everything right. I go to church every Sunday. Lord, I believe you. Like you're going to pray a new car in your garage. It ain't going to happen. <laughs> huh? It's not going to happen. I guarantee you. My daddy prayed more than anybody I know. 
You, if you operate him, forget it. I give up. He was an Olympic prayer. Oh, no, he had the gold medal. And all of them. They didn't even try to, they didn't, it wasn't even a contest. They just gave him the box. No. Oh, you know the thing about pray without season? He took it literally. Pray every hour on hour. Y'all think I'm lying. Huh? Y'all think I'm making this up. You think it's comedy. It's not. Every hour on the hour. I never, I don't even understand that today. Because he prayed into the other hour. <laughs> so by the time you get up, you go to the bathroom, come back, it's time to pray again. And y'all want to tell me, why don't you? Uh, Noah Jones said, why don't you uh, ask me, why don't you just come and sit in the church sometime? I said, what? What you mean? He said, why don't you just come and sit down and just listen to my sermon sometime? I said, man, I done recorded every sermon you done done for two years. I know when you get ready to go up on high. I know when you get ready to go up. I said, plus, I'm a little burnt out because my father, <laughs> you a whole lot of light. <laughs> huh? Supernatural. Okay, now, I got to give you a conclusion. Give me a little music. Every time the supernatural was invoked in, in the Bible, every time, that was a transcending that happens. Somebody say dictionary moment. To transcend means to... The limit of thoughts outdo or exceed in excellence, surpass, elevation, transcend. So here these chariots, all up on Moses and his people. Just ooh, they getting ready. Oh Lord, they got the knives out. They can almost smell the blood. Pharaoh was so mad. He, didn't, he forgot what he was mad about. He just wanted to kill something. He did. Because he's like, you know, I think I, I lost my son. This ain't nothing that's going to bring my son back, but I, 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 just can't let, I just can't let him get away with it. Now, you've been holding these people enslaved for 40, 430 years. But now you don't want them to get away with getting away. Uh-huh. God had to harden his heart so that we could have this story to understand when the devil come up against you and you can hear the chariots on your heels. The heels rhyme with bills. You can invoke the supernatural. But you can't take an action upon you. He stretched that rod out. He said, stretch that rod out. Stretch it over that sea. Stretch your rod out, man. Stretch your knowledge out. Stretch yourself out. Stretch it out. Don't think like you thought yesterday. Because those thoughts got you where you are today. No. Don't say, well, I, well, I hope I, I hope I'm at. You just like the other ones. You at the Red Sea and you're going to see no other way out. You, hey, he couldn't have built no ships in time. It took a whole bunch of ships for him to build. So he had no other way to do Either walk on water or walk over on dry land. Somebody say amen. God could have let him walk walked in the mud. He said, no, we're going to dry it up for you. And we're going to put a ball of fire. We, I, don't worry about them chariots there. I know y'all ain't got no faith, but Moses got some. If y'all don't have no faith, don't worry about it. I got enough for all y'all. I got enough to go around. I can spread it all over Atlanta. I got enough for all Atlanta. Trust me. So if you don't think you got it, just follow somebody. Lead, follow, get out the way. He stretched out the rod, and y'all know the rest of it. Supernatural things happen when you stretch your faith. You got to stretch your faith. Oh, I got some more for you right quick, real quick, real quick, real quick. The walls of Jericho. Goliath. Noah. 
The blind man, that's my favorite. He's one of my favorites. Because they didn't want him to, they didn't, they didn't want him to even be seen. He just heard that Jesus. He just heard that Jesus was coming by. You know, your ears get real good when your eyes go. He just heard that Jesus. He heard the commotion. He probably was like, what, what's going on? Oh, the Messiah coming through. Oh, Lord, that's that healing dude. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Jesus! Jesus! He said, shut up. Be quiet. Be quiet. Lord, Jesus! Do not pass me by. He invoked it, the supernatural. Jesus was so cool. Obama ain't got nothing on Jesus. Just walked over to him and said, why should I do this for you? He said, so I can see. Because he was earnest, I, I, just, I just know I can just see Jesus. I just looked at all his active view. Just because he was earnest. And I said, well, if I can see, I can go to work for my mama. No, that just blind man, I just won't see. <laughs> I ain't go at I don't I don't know who you are. I don't know. I, I just want to see. He said, our faith is make you whole go wash your eyes. See, y'all think y'all gotta do a whole lot. You didn't have to do nothing to get here. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Your heart just been beating since you've been here. All that whatever you think you ain't, it's still beating. Must be beating for a reason. Huh? You're only going to be here for a short while. You might as well have some style. What? Faith. Faith. What is faith? It's a fading word to everybody. But stretch out. Whatever you think it is. You can't, get, you can't go buy it. You can't go get you a cup of hand for it from a bishop. Huh? I just believe because I don't know why what I believe. I can look out here right now and... Well, it's kind of cloudy today. But I know one thing, it's daytime. Even the clouds can't stop it from being bright. Somebody see me? That thing just burn, burn, burn. Then when that go down, the moon come up. Huh? The woman with the issue of blood, she had to get on the ground. Get kicked a little bit. You gonna get kicked a little bit? There gonna be a whole lot of folks. Gonna say, you ain't, man, you ain't gonna never get to Jesus' garment. Ain't no way. All that stuff you done done, man. I don't, I believe you probably, you may, I don't know. I'm telling you what you done done. You may have killed somebody. I don't know. You ain't going to get in heaven. But you just keep on crawling. She just kept on crawling. Just kept on crawling. Kept on crawling. And boop. He said, Ho! Who touched me? My word tell me, he said, he felt virtue. Go out of his body. Your faith can be strong enough to make Jesus turn around. All my life, honey, I've been believing this way. I've just been this way. I've been believing this all your life. All your life ain't all your life because you're still here. What is all your life? Ain't no all your life. Stop saying stuff. All your life. If you ain't know that they saying you only use 10% of your brain, you better lose another 12% the rest of your life then. Cut it out. Find all kind of reason to be complacent. We think that we just cause we talk real good. Yeah, I know I'm gonna get that, honey. See what I'm gonna do with what am I what am I gonna? What am I gonna? Woo! Wow! I'm a gonna. Them guys. If I get my hand on those guys. And I'm going to show you something. Them, them groups, they, they run together. Something never show up, and I'm a gunner is right with them. And next thing you know, what? There you are. Going to that same job you don't like. Going to them, look at them same old faces that don't like you. Y'all don't like working together, but what y'all here for? It's a Friday. They don't even give you a check in your hand no more. You just go to the bank. It's already in there. Why do you think they so sure they're giving you that money? If they, if they can pay you $10 an hour, how much you think they made an hour? 
Just think about it. Just think about it for a while. You're going to have to invoke the supernatural by believing for real. You got to believe for real. Shadrach, Meshach, and the Bendigo. Oh, Lord. I want somebody to pronounce that, 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 that a little bit better than me. Come on. Uh, 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 sh- you, what is it? Shadrach, Meshach, and the Bendigo. I used to say a Bendigo. I don't know. All I know, these boys were so persistent and so believing in the man who hung the sun that they couldn't be scared. They just wasn't scared. You just got to stop being scared of the fire. You just got to be, you just got to one day just make up your mind like Rosa Parks said, I ain't going to the back of the bus. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm not going. Throw me in jail. Nothing's going to change until you make a change. It scares people to death when you say no. Try it. Just try Well, can I have a piece of your bread? No. <laughs> Didn't get to them, okay? But anyway, just look at their face. Though. They can't take it. People can't take no. But you got to someday just stand up and say, no, I'm not going he said, you better play the music. The king said, Nebuchadnezzar, what's wrong with you? He said, go ahead, put some more fire. He was trying to bluff them. You no, know, they're going to try to bluff you now. They're going to try to bluff you. They're going to say, I'm going to tell you right now, man, if you don't do like I tell you to do, I'm going to tell you right now, you see that other gun? I'm going to use that one. I'm going to use the bigger one. I was going to use a 22, but I'm going to use a 38. He said, throw us in the fire. God going to be right there. That was the first air condition. Hallelujah. The first air condition was way back then. My Bible tells me that they even got even a cinch. They didn't even they know. You know how sometimes you can be in heat and you, you feel a new. They was up in that door like this here. Shoulder lean. Nebuchadnezzar looked up in there and said, I thought we put three in now. I thought we put three in now. Huh? The other one in there looked like the son of man. Somebody said, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Lord, you're going to make me squall a little bit like my father used to do. Oh, hallelujah. He said he sounded like James Brown too. Huh? You got to get happy because who was that fourth? Who was that other person that's standing behind you, Tara? Who is it? Who is it? Somebody tell me. It's Jesus. It's Jesus. You just got to know he's there. You just got to turn around and say, hey, Jesus, I know you got me. I'm going to go over here and get this money right now. Thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, back, get out of the way. You said no. Okay. The other one say no. Mm-hmm. Don't care one say no. Who cares? God says yes. 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 I got to give you this last one. Daniel in the lion's den. Daniel in the lion's den. There he is, just for praying. They would lock my daddy up so many times, been crazy. Just for praying three times a day. They locked him up. But them lions, they looked over there and Daniel was just in there just petting them. What's up? He probably gave him a new name. What's up, Drew? What's that? Uh? Bubba. Sit down. When they rolled back the stone, they all they were going to see was just broken bones. That he up in there, sitting there. Hey, how you doing? What's up? Playing with the lions. They couldn't even eat him. They can't eat you, baby. When God with you, there, he going to change their appetite. Invoke the supernatural this week. I feel supernatural things coming on. I don't think about cars and, 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 and houses and all that kind of stuff. That comes with action. You don't worry about it. Just get your mind so stuck on what you're trying to get done. And don't let nobody deter you. Don't go out there and try to get no house and no cars and all that stuff. Don't do that. You're obligating your income. 
get some income to obligate and then go get the houses <laughs> okay just turn it around it's easy the supernatural is you I want you to look in the mirror you know I often say look in the mirror because you know why because when you look in that mirror guess what you see God's perfect will in your life Thank you. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah to God. Ain't God good? Ain't God good? Now all of us know we got the power of Moses in our hand. You know, we got the power of Moses and we got the power of Jesus in our hand. So when you call on the name of Jesus, you're invoking the supernatural. It's just that simple, man.